hello guys welcome to the orbit of the coding so today i am going to explain uh, what is identity insert on and off so on the last session i was explain what is sql identity and and and, I, and with uh, some examples over there but still uh, like we had a few questions left on this session so in this session i will try to explain uh, and answer those questions so if you don't uh, watch the uh, last session please go through the what is sql identity so you can uh, relate uh, more about identity insert on and off so i am going to the sql server management system and will show you the use and purpose of identity insert on and off so here i already uh, select a database product and i am going to create a new table I'll create the table a student right and and just uh, set that std id int and set one identity one is to one right so server we don't uh, so if we use one is to one then it's seed should be one and the value uh, incremented value is one so whenever we insert the record in the insert table it should increase one on every inserted records name where care 60 right and then phone number where care 12 right and then i'm going to execute that particular query so here you can see that a student table should be created so i'm going to select star from student right and you can see that the student uh, table is created if you want to see that all the properties of that student table then you can get here manually if you want to see the design of that particular tables then you can see that so in the list of tables you can see student table uh, have created and in this total if you see to how many columns are there three columns are there int and it should be not enough right so now i am going to insert a particular records insert into table name student insert into student right and i'm going to uh, because i need table is not automatically so i just need to name and phone number that values should be uh, name is uh, like we can test that name and, and phone number uh, you can put anything in that number just I will so for example box I insert the one row should be affected so once you select you can see that and once i uh, put that different uh, name then you can see that uh, the automatically uh, inserted uh, the one right and if you try to uh, insert uh, student id let's see what happened here right i want to insert a three right and name that 
change and number also we put normal right so you can see that uh, cannot insert explicit value for identity column in the table as student right so we cannot insert explicitly because system generate automatically the value we don't need to assign or we don't need to put a particular value over there right and suppose uh, in the student record right so i have total uh, two records in, in in our tables right and i i'm going to delete uh, 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 like uh, two records in that particular uh, record ID two, then I am going to use a delete, delete from a ta table student where a student where a student std ID. So let me do. I want to delete that particular records. One row should be affected, and then you can see. And now I'm going to insert another records over there. Right. So here you can see that. So now you can see that uh, identity should be three, but it should not uh, contain the one two and three so but i want to uh, create some orders I, I i want to put id two. so how it, it it is possible so i just try to insert explicitly on that particular value right so student id and i put the name ankur right and i want to insert student id2 in the particular tables let's see what happened so here you can see that cannot be because we cannot insert explicitly uh, records in the table in that case so you can see that comment because identity insert is set to be off because right now identity insert is set to be off that's why record should not be inserted explicitly so i want to set the identity insert is on and then we'll try to insert the data explicitly right so set i then tt insert and name of the table is true and student and on right and i go to execute that so command should be executed successfully now uh, a student uh, table identity insert is now on and now i am going to insert a record in that particular table explicitly so here you can see that row should be affected and now we are able to insert a manually record in the identity column so you can see that particular result now we are able to see one three and two records should be inserted in our tables right and after that i am going to off that particular uh, identity in the column of particular of and now i'm going to insert that particular records and here you can see that we cannot explicitly insert we need to put identity insert on then we can explicitly explicitly insert that record in the column so summary is that if you want to uh, insert it like in a in your table identity it is set in a particular columns and you aren't want to insert a record explicitly then you need to set identity insert on after that you can insert the record 
in the identity columns right and now if you want to change the identity here seed is one increment value is one right i i want to change that incremented value 10 i want to uh, I want to insert a record like one, two, three, and I want to next record should be eight. I this should be eight. Now I want to, uh, uh, and now I want to change the identity. Then we can use. Uh, then we can, if you need to re uh, see that particular identity, then we can use B B C C. Uh, check ident check ident and put that uh, table name a uh, table name should be a uh, student and then we need to reseed i put the capital letter reseed right and i want to uh, insert a three after after one two three in id and then we need to increment that value should be five and then i set that five and execute the regular things here you can see that checking identities were currently identity value is three currently last identity value is three and dvc b d b c c execution complete if you dvc printed error message can contact the administrator right so uh now i want to insert a particular a next record and you can see that identity should be in kjj i just want to put a name rahul and here you can see that it, i have successfully inserted the record and you can see that uh, the table it should be a six it automatically uh, increases uh, uh, that uh, five value and now I'm going to insert new record Raj new you can see that what next should be created and here you can see that seven uh, should be a created but I need to uh, exceed the research state right I need to, if I uh, execute that uh, identity current identity seven, I want to increment should be five. Right, we need to execute that particular query, and then I want to insert. So last identity value seven, and I have increased the seed value five. So let's see next records affect the row and see what next to be the seven records. So you can see that. Raj one two three is six. Because I already uh, create, so I, I if if I uh increase reset the uh, okay, so it's reset the seed value, right? It's so reset the seed value if, if reset the seed value five the next record should be six six records should be created and if i set the uh, if i reset the seed value 20 right if i reset 20 then if i uh, last identity value six if i i am going to insert that particular record then you can see that 21 record uh, our last identity is 21 because i set the seed uh, value here 20 and, and next time i'm going to set the record you can see that 21 should be uh, the values right so that's it on this video and once we set that identity value we cannot remove the identity because we have faced some data losses issue but if you want to uh, uh remove that identity value then you need to create some uh, different column and you need to shift it or identity value to the different column and you need to remove all the connection and constant 
to the next column and then you can remove that particular identity but explicitly we cannot uh, remove the identity once we set so thank you uh, for watching this video thank you have a nice day and if you have any question you put on the comment box and i will try to answer and resolve all the queries so thank you and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel